Hello everyone, Grim Chorizo here. This is Ringside Predictions, where I give you my predictions for the upcoming WWE pay-per-views. And this Sunday is Raw's pay-per-view, Roadblock, end of the line. So let's get into my predictions. On the pre-show, we've got Rusev vs. Big Cass. Now, I've actually kind of liked the build of this. It's gone on for a few weeks. You had Enzo and Rusev had a match, uh, stemming from Enzo backstage hitting on Lana, then doing it again. Rusev hitting him in the balls, because, I mean, rightfully so. You don't hit on another man's wife. Uh, and then, you know, you had... Uh, Enzo and Lana thing with the hotel room. Lana tricked him into going to her hotel room for Rusev to beat the hell out of him. Big Cass comes to uh, fight Rusev now. A good, simple story. I mean, it's not my favorite story going or anything, but it's not for a title. It's got a storyline, and it's a match. Uh, so I think Big Cass is going to get the win because, I don't know, I don't think this is going to be a long, big storyline, so I think good guy will get the win. And, yeah, I think Big Cass beats Rusev. Sami Zayn versus Braun Strowman. I've loved the build to this match. I've really been impressed with Braun since his redevelopment with the brand split. He's been an unstoppable monster, but he's been very impressive. And this is his first real storyline. So a few months back, Sami Zayn kind of stepped up to the challenge. Then uh, lately they've had matches. Mick Foley called off the match with Sami and Braun because he didn't want Sami to die by Braun. This, you know, hurt Sami's pride. He's like... Dude, you don't stop my match. I want to go until the end. Uh, and this has just been a great story. Now, Foley keeps, you know, saying he doesn't want to put Sammy in harm's way. And Sammy's like, you don't got faith in me. So Foley fired him up. And now, Sami Zayn has got his match with Braun Strowman. Uh, but the catch here is, basically, Sammy has to, has 10 minutes uh, if he can survive, you know. So it's going to be a match, but if Sami Zayn lasts 10 minutes... I guess he doesn't lose? I don't exactly know. But that's kind of the thing going forward. I think that Sammy will last 10 minutes. Uh, he'll be, you know, destroyed, but he'll survive. He won't be pinned or submit or be knocked out. But then after the match, Braun is just going to destroy him. So I think that, I guess, Sammy win. I don't know who you'd say who wins, but I think that Sammy outlasts 10 minutes. Cruiserweight title defended in a triple threat match. Rich Swan versus Brian Kendrick versus TJ Perkins. This should be awesome. Uh, cool to see, you know, not just a one-on-one -on -one match for the Cruiserweight title like we've been getting, just to change it up. You know, you've got your three top Cruiserweights, put them in a triple threat match. I think Rich Swan retains the title. I think that uh, TJ Perkins will turn heel here or pretty soon, uh, but I think Rich Swan retains the title. This should be an awesome match, and I'm very much looking forward to it. The New Day versus Cesaro and Sheamus for the WWE Tag Team titles. We've seen this match quite a bit, but it's always very good. New Day are officially the longest reigning tag team champions in history, so will they lose the titles right now? I think yeah. I don't see how much longer they can have them feud with Cesaro and Sheamus, who are obviously the other top tag team, uh, before you know it just gets super stale. So now is the chance. I think Cesaro and Sheamus are working on the same page. They should be able to beat the New Day, and I think that they will. I think New Day lose the titles after a 480, 490, whatever, a uh, day long reign. This is Arwen Sheamus. Chris Jericho versus Seth Rollins. I think Seth Rollins wins. I don't really have too much to say about this other than I think it's going to be a really good match. And I think Seth Rollins is going to win. Sasha Banks versus Charlotte Flair for the Women's Championship in a 30 minute Iron Man match. Uh, this is kind of one of those things where I think it does deserve a stipulation, but I feel like they kind of threw it on to say women stipulation matches. Uh, but then again, if this is really the end of their rivalry, then I think it should end in an epic match like an Iron Man match, and it's going to be amazing. I'm very much looking forward to it. I think Sasha Banks retains. Now, this would break the trend of Charlotte winning on the pay-per-view, Sasha winning on Raw, Charlotte winning on pay-per-view, yada yada. It has to end sometime, and I think it ends here at Roadblock, Sasha Banks retaining the title. But I think after the match, Emelina is going to make her debut and attack Sasha Banks, setting up a new feud. And the main event, Kevin Owens, the Universal Champion, defending the title against Roman Reigns, the United States Champion. I just don't get why they have the U.S. Champion fighting for the Universal title. It, I mean, I know they've done it in the past, but why can't Roman have a United States title feud? He's only really had one, and he's already fighting for the Universal title. I think it's very, very likely that Roman Reigns could walk out of here with two titles, maybe three, give him the Cruiserweight title too, and the Women's title, why not? But I think Kevin Owens is somehow going to retain. It will definitely not be clean. 
he will cheat, Jericho will do something, or, you know, he'll, I don't know, he'll cheat, but he'll retain. So thanks for watching my predictions for Roadblock. Hope you enjoyed. I'd like to know yours, so leave them in the comments, let me know what you thought of the video, and I'll see you next pay-per-view, which I think is Royal Rumble. There might be one before that, but I don't know the exact schedule, but if not, I'll see you at Royal Rumble.